Hey coders, it's Adish here. In this video, we are going to install dark theme in our code block, code blocks IDE. So let us get started. Go to this link, which is in the description. Click on that link or copy, pa copy paste the link in the browser. Okay. So you will reach this page. Here you have step by step guide to install dark theme in your code blocks IDE. So let us first download this learnthings.conf file. Learnthings.conf file. So go to download download path copy this file and search in the start menu for percent app data percent go to this folder app data or you can go to c users admin app data roaming there you will find a code blocks folder you will see something like this so you will see a default.conf file change the name of this file to default LT or something else whatever you want but before changing the file name make sure your code blocks is not open not running so press enter now paste the downloaded file here and change this file name to default Make sure you do not make any spe spelling mistake in this. Now you have to open your code blocks IDE. Okay, you will see a screen like this. Some people may not. So select your preferred compiler. I use GNU GCC compiler. So set as default and press OK. Now open a new file, empty file here you are not seeing your dark theme currently because this is not a c or c++ file our theme only works for c, c or c++ file this is general text file so let us save this file using an extension c let us name it dark theme dot c yes you can see a dark theme now here you can see a header header in the blue color and keywords in red color operators in orange color and a string will be in this color I don't know which color is this but the problem is you cannot see a cursor here because the color of cursor is black so let us change it by going into settings here you can find a settings then go to editor and then go to margins and caret here you can see margins and caret go to this caret and you will find color here now currently the color of caret is black so change it click on it and then select white press ok again press ok so now there are different colors for different things like header in blue color keyword in red color strings in this color comment in green color operators in orange color if you do not like anything you can always change it by going into settings editor then going to syntax highlighting here you can see the default background is black normal comment is green normal single line comment is also green keywords are okay, these are user keywords are in red keywords sorry user keywords are in blue keywords are in red so change however you want you can change them then press ok and you are done so that is all guys enjoy coding thank you very much for watching make sure you subscribe the channel like the video and share the video thank you very much